people who are watching i would like you to press the share button because with that it will reach to a maximum people so uh, because i am trying to do uh, give a very general approach for all the branches so it is very uh, beneficial for everyone yes rahul garupati take care yaar thanks you can all click the share button so that uh, it reaches to a maximum people and we will be starting another 2 3 minutes let people join people have started coming online so if you share it will reach to a maximum people right and uh, at the end of the session i'm planning to uh, make a post where i'll be uh, giving all the links to various books and the links to uh, various interviews ESC and ISRO interview both, so that you can just check the type of questions being asked by people. And I will have I have one mechanical interview that is my interview, and uh, there is another interview by one electronics person, so that also can be uh, given. Yes, Jitendra. Bye, yeah, bye. Thank you. Yeah. So let people join. Please click the share button so that people more and more people can join. yeah so so the results have come and uh, it seems like uh, people be uh, people that are called uh with compared to the last year the number of people being called is a bit less right so it's very natural that it is uh, because of i think uh, travel issues because of the lockdown uh, you know after a month it is not uh, very feasible to call people from all over india to you know various centers so that's why they might have done it to reduce the number of travel but it does not mean that vacancy will be less okay because unless you get a official paper by the government of india you do not assume that the vacancy is less okay so yeah another 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 one minute i will just give you all the uh tips and guidance for the interview i just request everybody to share the live stream so that maximum people can see it and uh, it will be beneficial for all right you can just click the share button and see now now, now people are coming to join yes dhruv deepak ashtushar welcome everyone okay i'll start so the first thing that i will write to address is uh, like congratulations to all the people who have been selected okay and uh, now it's a very good time for you to study because everybody is home and uh, you have plenty of time to study you have good internet everything so this is the best uh, opportunity i can say and number of people being called is also less so you have a very high probability almost double the probability than in normal days right and uh, 1s to 5 or 1s to 6 ratio is only being called earlier it was 1s to 10 or 1s to 11 so you have a very high probability of people being uh selected right so now uh, first of all first of all let me tell you what is the pattern of the interview okay so currently people who are selected they must be thinking what we are going to do on the interview like what we are going to perform how we are going to be questioned and all those things so first of all there is a very uh, what we can say there is a very uh, straight forward answer to it interview is not expecting you to know everything technical he is only expecting you to how well you are performing and how well you are understanding the concepts okay because already you have cleared the technical exam so your technical knowledge is okay but how well you are with the concepts that is what he is expecting so first of all the pattern of the interview there will be around 8 to 10 people in the interview board okay this 8 to 10 people are sitting there these are highly qualified scientists scientists people and also professors from iit and uh, they will be very thorough with technical knowledge and they will judge you on the basis of how well you are able to explain so now 8 to 10 people are sitting 
you go inside the hall you wish all the people okay if it is a female uh, can uh, suppose a female uh, ma'am is there so you wish the ma'am first and then you wish the sirs okay formal introduction and uh, after that they will ask you to maybe they will ask you to introduce yourself see it is not at a ies interview or the engineering service interview so you need not tell something very descriptive it can be very short like your name the place you are from your college and your interest or your uh, project or something some start you give to your interview mention some technical thing that you're interested in that you're interested in this journal paper or you're interested in the project that you have done so that gives a start of to your interview and uh, which means that they can ask the question on what you have said okay so you're actually the driving your own interview so make it very brief the introduction for yourself, yourself can be very brief sometimes it may not be asked only your name can be asked and they will start asking you different type of questions okay and uh, i i just want to tell you just you can just wear some formals to the interview there's no need of wearing uh, blazers and suit and all it it is a summer time right so basically a simple uh, uh, formal can work okay then now the uh, expectation of the interviewer once you are going inside what is expecting of you he is not expecting you to know rocket science and all he is expecting you to know only simple concepts in a very simple manner the only problem is people who understand the concepts are not able to explain on the board okay so once you are able to explain on the board that is what is required okay so for example uh, he will ask you some uh, beam related question so in in uh, your uh, in your uh, written paper you have solved all the beam related question but you are not explain uh, you are not explaining it to him on the board so that makes a negative impression okay so person who understand the concepts should be able to explain it to the interviewer that is what is required so first thing is understanding the concept and the ability to explain okay second is the um, ability to implement concepts on a real time basis for example if he is asking you uh, how you measure uh, flow rate from pipe 1 to pipe 2 so you should be able to relate uh, very fast that bernoulli's equation can be used and this is the bernoulli equation like that okay practical application if he is asking you uh, if he is asking you a concept like one kg of water is kept on uh, they say the stove how much time it will take to get heated so it is like mcp delta t okay m dot or whatever so like that practical application of all the concepts that is a major point that you should uh, be able to answer okay then ability to distinguish, distinguish between cases uh, they they may try to some uh, sometime put uh, different different cases in front of you for example cases related to uh, heat transfer okay so suppose heat transfer with and without uh, internal heat generation heat tra heat transfer with and without convective environment all these things should be very thorough you should be able to know from the graph itself that whether heat generation is there or not okay so the cases should be very clear that uh, that reflects how well you have understood all the concepts and you are keeping every concept separately okay okay then uh, the major difference between a written test and an interview is the depth of concepts in the written you are only you know solving one uh, concept and you are marking the answer but when you are going for the interview there is a in depth analysis being taking place okay in depth analysis you are being analyzed for in depth knowledge okay whether you are really having the in depth knowledge that is being analyzed okay so some in depth study of derivations and all those things are required okay mostly the language being used is english only it's because people are coming from all over india so you need not uh, speak in any other language than english most probably you speak in english okay now what to study and how to study the major question arises from where do you study okay so i am going to actually uh, post a uh, link uh, after the live session which will actually give you the idea of uh, what are the books and you know how did i study all those things i have actually written it uh, last year itself and i will just reshare the link so you can just visit there and uh, you can follow it okay then now the basic things uh the basic things that uh, you should start studying is from your short notes itself the basic definitions you start studying from a very good textbook you start studying their basic definitions you start studying the de derivations okay you need not study for all subjects it is better if you study for the all subjects but if you are not able to cover all the subjects at least four or five major subjects you cover because uh, when you are able to explain at least four or five major subjects it means that you are uh, very familiar with the uh, mechanical engineering or whatever engineering you are doing but uh, just studying one subject or two subject that will not uh, you know give any any benefit in the interview so at least four or five subjects you prepare thoroughly 
then after you study the technical derivations uh, and all those things you are required to study the assumptions also see uh, just writing the bernoulli equation will not work they will ask you how this term came v square by 2g how you are assuming the density to be constant so you should be able to tell that earlier there was a euler's uh, equation was there then this euler equation was integrated or derivative whatever and then we have found the bernoulli's equation like this it is very necessary for you to understand the background of a derivation okay it is very uh, common that they will ask you questions on the derivation also so you should know what assumption you have taken uh, rotational flow rotational flow etc for all branches okay whatever derivation is there just go into depth of the derivation and try to remember it so along with the short notes there should be a small supplement where you are writing this extra points extra points related to derivation extra points related to all the assumptions okay hmm. then uh, other than this other than the technical knowledge see, you have already studied technical knowledge so you just just need to brush it up other than this technical knowledge the things that you will be asked is the subjects related to your uh, project okay uh, your project plays a very important role if they are able, if they are uh, just asking you what is your project so it is a very high probability 90% probability that they will ask you questions related to your project my project was related to theory of machines okay so they ask me a lot of things on machine design and theory of machines also so like that if your project is related to suppose solar uh, related things so they will ask you so many things on solar energy con energy conversion some electrical mechanical terms okay so whatever you are going to mention as your project be prepared for questions on that that is very common thing okay then your mtech subjects if you if a person is uh, currently doing mtech or has already completed mtech then it becomes a very important uh, area for them to ask the questions on mtech so you can just mention that your interest is in uh, you know you have done uh, mtech in aerospace or automobile or whatever and one or two uh, major subjects from mtech also you can uh, prepare and go okay previous job if you are doing any previous job definitely they will ask you what you have learned in your previous job what was your position what is the technical knowledge you have done and uh, uh, what you have acquired and uh, such related things okay so these uh, points what i am telling you your uh, interview will revolve around these points only okay also while you are expl explaining one concept the words that you are using no will trigger the next uh, question okay suppose you are explaining some heat transfer equation and suddenly you are saying that there is no heat generation in this equation suddenly you will ask what is heat generation draw the graph for heat generation okay then you are drawing the graph for heat generation and you are saying that uh, this uh, slab is not having any convert, uh, convective environment suddenly we will ask you draw the graph with convective environment okay so you are becoming the driver of your own interview so words that you are using in an interview is very uh, crucial don't say something that you don't know okay they will ask you question and you will fall into trouble okay so that becomes a very important point so now for interview preparation as i told you along with the short notes there should be a supplement for each chapter uh, the derivations should be there because in short notes you won't write all this derivation and all right but in the now the interview preparation there should be a small booklet or some small supplement for each chapter there should be some important points that are coming from in depth of the chapter you can refer to a good textbook for that a derivation assumptions as i told you and with that i think it will be through also now uh, see the current scenario is like that so many things are happening in uh, areas of science uh, some of the departments of isro are also making ventilators and sanitizers okay so just go to the uh, google and see current affairs about all these things who all are uh, preparing uh, ventilators what is isro doing towards uh, fighting corona okay so that can also be one point that you can study okay and somebody asked me that uh, what can i study about isro for the interview okay you study about the history of isro where it, uh, how it started like a story you study you need not memorize everything like a story you study that uh, how it was formed then what are the launch vehicles what is the capability mechanical people can study the mechanical capabilities how much thrust is there okay and uh, electrical people can study the electrical satellite uh, capability what all satellites are being sent like a story you can study it need not remember everything but okay pslv gslv mark 3 all those specifications you can just uh, memorize once then uh, okay so this uh, this is everything that you should do okay whatever i told you is uh, you should do but there are things that you should not do also what are those things see while preparing no you don't get over uh, enthusiastic or, or too much confident that you know everything okay don't get too much excited 
such kind of excitement will cause only over confidence and uh, eventually on the day of interview you won't be able to perform well okay so be in a very calm and neutral state even if you have completed your portion don't try to boast about it be very calm unless your interview is over you need not decide anything okay so first thing you have to do is stay calm don't be nervous don't be excited be in the middle okay don't get too nervous that other people are are uh, doing more i am doing less other people are from iit it does not matter okay when when i was going for the interview everybody in the interview hall was from iit or mtech from iit i was the only person from the regional college okay so now those people are not selected i am selected okay so it does not matter actually okay so second thing that you can uh, avoid is bluffing in the interview so you don't tell things that are not real okay they will catch you they are those people are very smart don't bluff in the interview don't lie okay try to be as uh, simple as possible as true as possible okay because if they ask you and uh, you are not able to defend that uh, they will catch that you have lied okay so don't bluff don't argue with the interviewers if you are not able to understand some question so you can ask to repeat or just listen carefully and then only you can you know uh, answer them don't argue with them if they are saying something that you don't uh, you know really understand you can say sorry sir i do not understand the question or maybe you know be in a very polite way you can answer but don't create unnecessary hate okay in the interview it should be a feel good moment it should not be a very harsh interview okay and uh, one more thing don't overthink that uh, what will happen on the interview day while preparing all those things you forget what will happen on the interview day you just prepare with your whole heart okay overthinking should be avoided keep your mental health very good uh, see good things uh, i would like to tell you that be away from uh, you know the social media for a few days from the all the sad news and all those things that will affect your mental mental health very well okay so you need not uh, you know pay attention to all these things because these things are not going to help you in the interview okay so wherever your time goes your future comes from there so you give time in your books okay don't give times to social media facebook whatsapp whatever don't give time to all the faltu news going on just give time to your books and you will see your future will come from there okay so now this these are the things that you are not supposed to do now how to handle the preparation and uh, the last day stress okay many people will start the interview in very good uh, you know speed and all but eventually as the interview is as the preparation is progressing they get under stress and then start forgetting things they will stop the preparing all those things will happen so this is how you train yourself mentally see first of all you alone should be the person who is actually you know in command of your mental health nobody else should be able to you know command you okay interview and yourself only two entities are required nothing else matters in your life at this moment because if you success in life it will be a very life changing moment for you okay so your friends birthday parties other things okay lockdown is on lockdown is off all the, all these things are not at all required right now politics facebook all those things are not required what is required is yourself and your engineering books that's all okay your mental health should be very calm and you should always focus on one thing right now okay one one and a half month of uh, study you do interview will be most probably will be next month or something you will success and then you have plenty of time for celebrating you celebrate whatever you want after you get selected okay <laughs> secondly don't get too emotional while uh, you know preparing don't think that uh, i am preparing my friend is not preparing now what will happen i get selected he does not get selected see this is a competitive ex- ex- uh, competitive ex- exam right so the person who was uh, performing the best will only be selected okay so no need to get no need to get emotional about anything okay it is a very just a very fair interview who are performing who are doing well will get through who are not performing well will not get through it is very practical so don't get very emotional okay yeah so now see uh, there are not a lot of negative th- uh, comments uh, that will be thrown at you that uh, you are studying from so many years not getting selected or people will tend to tell you that why you are preparing again and again stop preparation let us go out and you know have fun lockdown is over all those things don't let any even hamper your mental health you please set your priorities right okay and uh, you simply you think positively that you are going to be selected you are going to prepare well all the positivity you keep in your mind and you start you know uh, preparing don't like uh, again again i'm saying don't let anyone else control your mental health okay don't spend long hours on the phone 
okay don't spend long hours on social media all those things will not help you i'm telling you no nothing will help you nobody is going to come in the interview hall with you not even your parents not even your girlfriends not even your friends not even everybody nobody will come to you in the interview hall you are a one man army over there okay so invest in yourself first make yourself a powerful army and then you go into interview hall okay after that you have plenty of time to do all those things okay then okay these are the all the things that you should actually uh take care of okay so now the final uh, point that i want to discuss is your doubts because uh, so many people have asked me doubts uh, in my inbox uh, then uh, so many people have asked me doubts on the page uh, comments and now currently also so many people are posting so you can actually uh, start writing your doubts in the comments that is also possible and some of the doubts already have taken from my inbox so one 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 by one i am going to you know explain so first saurav yadav is asking about the justification of gap see um, gap can be justified in a variety of ways for me personally i was uh, you know uh, taking a i was teaching in a local coaching also and later on got selected for uh, as academy also so i was you know teaching there also so it was a very positive point for me to you know um, teach there and uh, my uh, teaching skill got uh, you know uh, brushed up and i was able to explain on the isr interview on the board very well okay so that become a very important uh, thing for me then uh second thing you can say is the competition going on you can say that you tried for 2 years but the competition is so much that you are not able to uh you are not able to you know uh, get through you cracked written but you are not able to go through the interview something you can you know always tell that you cracked so many exams but it, the competition is so much that you are not able to get through also uh some people are doing jobs also small small jobs or internships so you can say that you were not sitting at home you were doing something or the other or you were taking online classes or something so many things can be told to you know uh, uh justify the gap okay so some some person is asking me apart from technical what all to study as i told you apart from technical you can always uh, study uh, things that are related to you know uh, isro uh, history or the next future endeavors that we are planning all those things can be studied and you can explain that you have such knowledge that isro is planning such future missions and all sorry and uh, such kind of things can all, uh, always be studied okay so what if tricky questions are asked see tricky questions are asked uh, some technical tricky questions are asked that means they want to just see how well you are uh, you know familiar with the concepts and how well is your approach okay then they will not definitely try to you know confuse you uh, interviewers are very good people they will never try to confuse you they will only try to get the best out of you so if you are tr- they are asking you any tricky question try to give the best approach you can give okay if they are asking you some indeterminate beam you have never seen so you slowly tell this is the indeterminate beam i will need more and more uh, equations to solve it like this you try to build a approach you need not solve the beam but your approach will you know convince them that this person knows very well he will definitely solve the problem okay so your approach also matters then uh, where to study mechanics from mechanics can be studied from uh, you know mm, i have studied from rc hibbler one nice book is there and uh, hc verma also 12th level that book that book is also good and Uh, youtube videos can really help for friction for small small dynamics related problem separate separate youtube videos are there you can just see and make notes out of that it is very beneficial okay will re- slow conduct recruitment yeah i think every year they will uh, conduct a recruitment but next year i am not sure because of this corona issue going on uh, recruitment has is uh, hampered but yeah uh, every year the vacancies are there okay why 100 plus plus vacancies yeah because we are planning so many missions right so we need more labs i am doing mtech from private college and uh, don't hide anything you should tell them yeah we don't hide your mtech thing in rsc which subjects to be prepared rsc you pre- prepare all the t- thermal subjects no fluid mechanics heat transfer 
then uh, uh, refrigerant and conditioning and thermodynamics these are four you that you are you are going to need anyway other things also you don't uh, neglect machine design some you don't neglect you cover that also how to choose correct combination of subjects you can introduce your subjects in the introduction also I mean uh, Ankit Dabas you can you know mention and uh, correct uh, combination is nothing you whatever you like you tell okay probable interview month next month most probably Nikhil is asking how to defend project work if it was not done properly see project work you have not done properly you are knowing that okay nobody else is knowing that you have not done properly but you can still write all the points related to your project and start studying about it okay so if you start studying about it uh, explain all the concepts the people will think that you have done very well in your project okay and they don't, they don't expect ditto 100% that you should remember everything from a project only if you remember the concepts no so you will be very uh, positive in the light of the interviewer at least you are remembering all the concepts that you have used in the uh, project okay you, ne you need not uh, you know have a very very good project my project was also not very very good but still the related concepts i was able to explain very well so it was okay shiva yeah it is a very uh, it is a moderately tough work only it is not like very easy okay karan chauhan rac you have one aurora book no dom kunwar is there aurora is there that book is very good. Kurmi is in a, not a very good book, I think. One person has asked me that uh, my, my prior experience is in automobile sector. What kind of uh, questions I can uh, expect? Okay, so very good automobile sector. Uh, so many questions can be asked. First of all, they will ask you basic definition. They have asked me also. Automobile, they asked me what is the cruising speed of automobile. So cruising speed, then average, mileage, odometer all those things can be asked what is the efficiency what is the cycle being used auto cycle all those things can be asked okay first of all basic definitions they will ask you second is uh, what is the project you are working on what is the things that you have learned okay they will definitely ask you and uh, what all uh, currently what is uh, going on in your uh, company and the next future like electrical vehicles are coming or what is happening all those things will be asked from you okay so that, that is what you can expect all those things from where uh, Arjun is asking, from where do we read different missions related to Wikipedia is a bad source or you go to ISRO official website. From there you can get, uh, you know, whatever uh, information you need about ISRO. Okay. So, why is the ratio of student called very less? Okay, somebody is very, so much uh, politics over this question. See, you need not worry. They are calling less or more. People who are best only will be selected, first of all. Secondly, unless any official notification comes, there is no... Uh, what you can say no confirmation that uh, the vacancies are less okay because of the corona issue only so many things are being uh, you know uh, hampered so maybe they want to reduce the travel that's why they have asked for less people to be there okay so no don't do politics over this issue please uh, concentrate on your study study is important okay books Okay, the list of books, I will just post one link after this uh, live session where interview questions, interview books, all those things will be there, okay? Sir, is industrial training asked in interview? Sometimes, Lalit, it can be asked. If it is not asked, you can just tell in the introduction. If you want to introduce in the introduction, you tell that you have done the, uh, 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 what you can say, the industrial training. Uh, I think I have, I have told uh, in some of the interview I have told that industrial training is uh, I have done in railways like that because I wanted to explain uh, how passionate I am about railways okay I have told in ESE interview so you can also just tell okay Ankit Dabas you can just explain your summer training as your project no worries okay Akash Sajdev B.Tech project and M.Tech project both they will ask you have to prepare by for both or you can interchange, you can, uh, whatever is best, you can keep as MTech and uh, keep the other one as a BTech. Or you can uh, switch your projects also, no worries. Okay. How to prepare interview with job? Okay, see, with job, the 8 or 9 hours of your job that you cannot sacrifice, you have to go. But the other, other 16 or 15 hours are with you, right? 
other than that 1615 hours you only concentrate on one thing that is your study what you do is you can carry chits or pages of uh, you know uh, to be read today you give yourself a one, uh, very good uh, goal that you will complete one chapter today or you complete one subject today so morning to us evening to us i think that is enough for you know preparing all the short notes and just revising it before going to sleep you can just revise you can reduce your lunch time you can reduce other things that you are doing okay you will get plenty of time if you are able to reduce other things after job only study for one month you totally you know sacrifice all other things and try to concentrate on study then i think uh, you will get very uh, good result also the traveling time you can uh, if you are traveling by car or you are traveling by some bus or something traveling time can also be used by you know uh, for uh, study somehow you have to manage actually okay karan chauhan final posting department depends upon interview score no it depends randomly the, uh, the uh, your uh, uh, after your interview you will be randomly posted to one of the centers there you can choose your department maybe by talking to your seniors okay okay so any other queries you can just ask me just comment i will answer any other queries any other queries for people how many subject you want to tell in the interview three or four subjects are more than enough interview score uh, okay does not depend on interview score it is very random your posting is totally independent of the interview score cad related courses uh, h dennis if you are mentioning it they will ask you okay plastic domain yes they will ask you karan chauhan i have done good project in third year but my final year project is not good you go for your third year project you tell that you have done only one project that's all yes rahul kumar good to see you too engineering drawing engineering maths not needed just know the basics yes any further comments any further doubts you are having please comment i am ready to answer can mechanical student get bangalore yes for sure mechanical is is everywhere everywhere it is centers even in sa kamdavad where there is totally uh, payloads uh, in electronic sector mechanical people are needed if you are not able to answer nitin see they will give you hints they will again and again give you hints after two three hints if you are not able to still uh, answer then i think you should tell that you are not able to answer okay and also see i made a mistake once i think i have told you in the interview i interchanged the soderberg and Good, uh, goodman's line in that fatigue uh, endurance limit all those things so goodman and soderberg's line i have interchanged okay and i was not able to uh, really come out i was not able to understand that i have interchanged it so he was pointing out one time two time and he fi fi finally told that can you just see what is wrong he gave me a hint and then i studied on the board that i have actually done something wrong and then i corrected it so uh, and i got uh, you know uh, really high marks in the interview so it's not like that uh, if they are correcting you or making small mistake then you will be in problem it's not like that you just uh, take hints from them and you try to do it mm. yes any further queries please uh, post your queries in the comments i am ready to answer them abin matthew vacancy is less this year no it's not less it's all because of lockdown they have called people less okay so finally at the end of the session i want to like to give you tips karan john you need not worry about some isro questions only 1% of the time they will ask you very very tough questions 99% of the time it is very easy so you concentrate on what is in the books okay 
only some uh, some application related question you have to think on the spot and answer okay so you need not worry about it you just uh, focus on your own uh you know preparation okay I think they will ask you about B.Tech subjects, Ankit. They will not ask you about M.Tech subjects in depth. One or two subjects they may ask, but this is a M.Tech level, B.Tech level vacancy. So they will ask you B.Tech subjects mostly. Bark is a totally different interview. See, Bark, uh, they will uh, uh, ask you so many things and try to confuse you also. But I think ISRO is a very different thing. They will help you a lot at ISRO. <laughs> The time frame uh, given uh, for the interview is 30-35 minutes, it's not that tough as bark, but yeah, it is technical. So towards the end of the uh, live session, I will give you some tips, I will repeat the tips. First of all, staying calm and composed, not getting excited, okay, not getting excited at all, stay very calm and very composed, do not compare your preparation with any other candidate. Do not get under very tension when you are seeing all the IIT people sitting with you in the interview hall. Don't compare, okay? Just be in your own uh, preparation, be, your, be, your, uh, be in your own mindset, okay? That is the first thing I would like to tell you. Don't let anybody damage your mental health. Don't listen to people first of all. Relatives, they will taunt you. Friends will taunt you, okay? Don't take advices from those people. Take advices for people who are successful in life. Okay. Say no to things which are time waste for you. Yes. If you don't want to attend necessary unnecessary calls, sorry, unnecessary calls, don't attend them. Okay. Don't attend social media if you don't want to do. Because your time will go there and your future will come from there. Okay. So you want to uh, uh, have a career in ISRO, you give preparation time for that. Isn't it? Then, patience and determination is the key. Technical knowledge, okay, but patience, don't uh, say for studying for 15 days, now I'm not going to study, I'm uh, not feeling well, all those things. Patience is required, okay. I've also struggled for three years, from 2013 to 2016. So, this is a long gap, okay. If I if I finally tell that uh, 2015, I will not study, then I will not get the fruits in 2016, right. So, you have put so much efforts, only now 10% more effort is, is required. So, at this point of time, you have to be very, very focused and very, very, you know, patience and determination you have to keep. Okay, and uh, with this you will definitely succeed. Okay, and I'll be there to answer your queries. Even after this uh, live session, I'll be there to answer your queries. So you can definitely uh, message me on the page and I will try to reply. Uh, Ankit Dabas, mock interviews, I don't th think so whether any uh, coaching is conducting. Made is your race, I don't know whether they're conducting. Nitin says that he has uh, approved the, he has appeared the interview before. Okay, then they will ask you into questions one by one. They will not stop. They will not ask you one question and give you indefinite time. They will ask. You have to actually go with the flow. Once you are uh, writing on the board and they understand that you know this question, they will ask the next. Next, Okay, so you need not fall, solve that full question. Suppose I am drawing one beam and I know this is a simply supported beam. So they will not uh, try, try to, you know, uh, ask me or all the forces and all. Simply supported, then they will ask the question okay so it happens like that only they have to judge you in half an hour so they will ask you maximum questions possible okay so with this i think uh, the next post which i'm going to do will be of fully of links uh, that are uh, necessary for you to follow some interview guidance some book lists and all those things so with that i think uh, your preparation will go well and uh, of course i am there to guide you uh, this session was actually for uh, not only for mechanical, but this uh, tips can be implemented for all the people. So share it to a maximum number of people and uh, I wish all the best to all the aspirants. Okay, don't get worried about all, all these things like lockdown, all those things, the negative effect, don't let it come near you. You only focus on your preparations. That is what is required right now. And uh, I wish all of you the, all the best. And uh, one more question I will take. Sir, for mental health, I give one, two hours for playing. Should I continue? Yes, you can play. Definitely. Don't just keep on studying like people uh, in this lockdown. People are actually becoming, uh, you know, mentally ill. They are becoming very psycho type of people. So don't do that. Don't literally just keep on studying. One or two hours you can do other things. If you uh, like any musical instrument, you play that. Okay. If you like some other hobby, you do that. Photography. Then you can uh, play some sports. That also is okay. And uh, such kind of things are okay. Hmm? 
so whatsapp group yeah i was trying to make that but i'm uh, cell phones are not allowed for us so, so most of the times i won't be available on cell phone anyways i'll try to guide you through the page so page i am always replying within a day you get my reply right so with this i will just end my interview session all the best to everyone okay spread the word spread the positivity okay good luck bye